What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 20 minute slow stretch for a full body. So have a seat and let's get started. What's up guys, welcome to your 20 minute full body slow stretch. Make sure you have room to move. We won't need any equipment, just some space to lay down and feel your muscles relaxing. In case you're sore like I am, this is gonna feel great for you. Quick reminder that I will be in Houston on July 20th, so if you're interested in a meet and greet, I'll be at Discovery Green on Jones Lawn from 12 to 2 p.m., and that'll be on July 20th. Again, I'll put all the info in the description below, and also if you're interested in starting off your week right, getting a team behind you, an accountability coach, your nutrition, extra nutrition challenges, and just lots of support and positive, encouraging people, make sure you check out the Sydney Squad to kind of wrap up the rest of your lifestyle outside of these workouts on the channel, okay? So let's go ahead and have a seat. I'm gonna start you on the floor today. So go ahead and have a seat. Okay, I'm gonna have you cross your legs over first. Okay, so crisscross, and I want you first to just take a big deep breath. We're gonna focus on really calming everything down today, okay? So crossing your legs, open your hands up to the sky, and in three, two, one, I'm gonna tell you to take a big deep breath in, and out. Relax your shoulders, big deep breath in, and out through your mouth. Relax your shoulders a little bit more, and one more time, breathe in deep. And exhale, relax your shoulders until you're folded over top of your legs. And now just let your neck hang right off of your spine. Slowly walk your hands over to the right side of your body. Bring your arm over top of your chest. Open your chest up. You should feel the stretch all the way from your elbow down to your hip and your glutes. And let's close it back up and walk back in to the middle and then over to the left side, dropping your elbow down opening your arm up, open your chest up, and then let that arm fall over to the side. Make your way back into the center and I want you to roll up nice and slowly. Placing your left hand on the floor, I want you to drop your neck over to the right side, ear to the shoulder. And you can just listen to me today. You don't necessarily have to be watching. I'll talk you through everything. So if at any time you wanna just close your eyes and feel the movement, feel the stretch, you're more than welcome. Place both hands flat on the floor now. Drop your chin down to your chest. And roll your head over so you're dropping the other side down, keeping your right hand on the floor. Drop your ear down to your left shoulder. Big deep breath in. Hand out. Bring your head back up to neutral position. I want you to take your hands, lace your fingertips together, push your hands out and up. And then I want you to relax your neck back to neutral as you try and open your shoulder, shoulder blades out to the side. And then open as you wiggle just a little bit side to side. Great job, bring your hands back into the center and release your left arm across your chest and let's pull, keeping your chest nice and straight. You should feel this on the back of your arm and your shoulder and your shoulder blade out back. Nice 
And go ahead and switch arms. Same thing, cross that arm right over your chest. Keep your thumb facing up, facing the ceiling. Keep breathing. There you go. Now take that same right arm up over your head, right beside your ear, and I want you to bend, placing your hand behind your head. Okay, after that, grab onto your elbow and pull over to the opposite side. Good, now release, straighten that arm out, and let's go ahead and switch arms. So take it right up beside your ear, bend your hand right behind your head, and pull the elbow right behind your head over to the other side. Great job, keep breathing, relax your neck. and go ahead and release. All right, let's make our way over onto tabletop position, our hands and knees, okay? Big deep breath here when you get here. There you go. Now I want you to sit back and walk your hands forward until you can lay your elbows down onto the ground, okay? You don't have to be seated back here, um, glutes over your calves, but lift your hips back up and drop your elbows down so you feel a nice stretch here in your lats. Okay, keep walking your fingers out as far as you can and try to create space between your shoulder blades and your ribs and your shoulders. Big deep breath in, and as you exhale, now you can go ahead and set your butt back over top of your calves. And let's take our right hand and walk it over top of our left. Okay, so again, stretching out shoulders, obliques. Bring your hands back into the middle. Let's take that opposite arm and cross it over now. Reaching, 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 really getting that shoulder over to the opposite side. And feeling that stretch all down your arm, your shoulder, your ribs, your lats. Great job. Walk your hands back into the middle and I want you to inchworm your way back up to a seated position. Okay, and we're actually gonna take your hands right behind your body now. So placing your thumb close to your toes, I want you to take your fingertips back and we're gonna work on opening your chest up here, okay? So lean back just a bit and open your chest up. So you're pulling your shoulder blades back, lifting your chest up to the sky and then drop your chin as well up to the sky. Relax and let's arch it forward, grabbing under your knees and reaching backwards with your shoulder blades. Should feel a nice stretch in between your shoulder blades right at the top of your back. Just let your head hang neutral position. And good, lift your head back up to neutral. Open it up again, take your hands right behind your toes. Create some space in your chest. Lift your chin, open, open, open. And come back up to the center. Bring your hands around forward, grab onto your knees and reach back with that spine like you're trying to get your spine away from your knees.
Great job. Now place your hands down on the floor. Let's walk back out to tabletop position. Okay, and let's go a little bit of rotation. So wide hands, knees are close in together here. And I want you to just let your hips go side to side. Okay, we'll get a little bit of the middle spine loosened up. And come back into the middle for me. Big deep breath in. Lift your spine up and exhale, drop it back down. Give me a couple more. Pull the spine up and then drop it down. Exhale, lift. Breathe in, relax your chest, drop your spine, fill your ribs up. Exhale, pull it up. Great job. All right, a couple shoulder rotations here. Okay, we're gonna go circling around your shoulders. So we're gonna drop it and lift it, moving in a forward motion. Keep your hands where they are. Let's just work on a little bit of scapular mobility. Okay, so push into the floor, lift, and then drop. Okay, it's all about the shoulders and the shoulder blades here. And last one. Great job. Go ahead and separate your legs out a little bit wider. Okay, and then drop your hips down to the ground. So you lift your chin up. And just relax your toes. You don't have to be up here on your toes. Just relax your feet. Okay, and let's turn over the right shoulder. And then over to the left. And one more time, back over the right shoulder. And over to the left, good job. Keep breathing. Great job. All right, back up to tabletop position. I'm gonna swing your left leg up front here. Okay, right outside your left hand. I want you to drop your right hip towards the ground and actually open up a little bit towards this knee. Great job. And come back into the middle. Let's just push straight down now. Keep breathing, you're doing great. And come back into the middle and let's switch legs. Okay, so right leg is up top now. Okay, I want you to drop your hip and then rotate just a little bit over towards that right knee or towards your front knee, whichever leg you're doing first. We're doing second, I guess, since we are on the second leg. Rotating over just a little bit so we can kind of get into the bottom side hip area. Great job. And now let's put both hands down, rotate in back towards the middle, pushing your hips down to the floor. You're doing great guys, good job. Proud of you for being here and spending this time. Good. All right, now I want you to come back 
Let's actually stick both feet right underneath your sit bones, okay? So we're going right here. Using your elbows, I want you to push your knees open. Okay, and if you need to keep your hands on the ground, you can do that. I just want you to force those hips open, knees open, working on the hip range of motion. Good job. Place your hands on the ground and push your hips up for just a second, just to relax. Good, all right, turn your toes back out just a little bit and let's sink down again. Okay, you don't have to be flat-footed. I'm up on my toes here, so that's totally fine. But again, just put your elbows right on the inside of your legs, open up. And you should feel it right in your adductors or your inner thighs here. Great job, all right. Bring your hands back down to the floor. Let's go seated, okay. Crossing your right leg over top, your left, okay. So right over left, taking your left hand, so the opposite leg from this hand, okay. Take the opposite hand and hook it on the outside of your top leg, okay. And then twist away for me a little bit. I really want you to push on this knee so you can really feel the stretch in your glute. Great job. Come back into the middle and I want you to hug that leg. Pull it right into your chest and sit nice and tall as you pull it in. And release that leg to go down straight on the mat. And let's switch legs. So crossing the left over the right. Okay, taking opposite hand, putting it here on the outside of that knee. First thing you're doing is pushing the knee away so you feel the stretch here. Okay, and then if you can, twist over. But I do want you to feel the stretch right in here. Good, and bring it back into the center. Hug that knee and pull it up into your chest as you sit nice and tall. Great job, release both legs out front. I want you to shift forward a little bit so your hips are anteriorly rotated, like they're pointing forward, reaching out down towards your toes, and if you can get to your toes, grab onto them, and pull your chest forward towards your toes. If you can't get to your toes, grab onto your legs, pull that chest forward. Great job. You should really feel this in the back part of your body, your glutes, your hamstrings. It's super a uh, simple stretch, but it's a lot of times one that we don't take time to sit in. I get onto Dustin all the time. He'll stretch for like 30 seconds. I'm like, you gotta sit there. You gotta really let your muscles stretch. He's not the biggest fan of stretching, but I am, so. <laughs> it's a debate we have, but I'm so glad that you guys are here doing this. We're almost done. Just take a couple big deep breaths. All right, set up for just a second. Make your spine nice and tall. Now I want you to separate your feet just a little bit. Same exact thing, okay? Going down in the middle here. And I want you, instead of rounding your back out here, I want you to try and force your chest to the floor so your back is a little flatter. Won't be completely flat, but just make sure you're getting it a little bit flatter.
Great job. All right, come back into the middle. Okay, flipping back over onto hands and knees. Okay, this is kind of our, our baseline today, starting position. Okay, I wanna have you tuck your toes down, push your heels back and lift your hips. Okay, and I just want you to lift one foot off the ground, tucking it right onto your calf. And we're just gonna focus on that one calf. So push your heel down to the floor. We'll give all the pressure to this leg first. And then come up onto your toes. Stretch out the arch of your foot. Good, lower back down to your heel and let's switch feet. Drop that heel down, lift the other leg off the floor. If you need to balance, you could leave it there, but just make sure most of the weight is pushing down into this calf and into your heel. Now go ahead and lift up onto your toes. Stretch your arch out a little bit. And drop your heel down. Place both feet back underneath of your hips. Let's walk it back in. Back to your toes. And release your neck one vertebrae at a time, starting with your tailbone. I want you to suck that in and roll up nice and slow. With your head coming up last, and the clock just rolled down to zero, I want you to take a quick minute to visualize your best week ever. What is your best self, you showing up as the best version of you, what does that look like this week? Okay, so I want you to take a, a minute and just close your eyes and think about that. And I want you to show up as that person every day. Whether or not you believe it, you are already incredible, okay? There's a lot of things we need to keep talking to ourselves about. One of those things is, self-love, positivity, okay? The fact that you, even though you are on a journey to make yourself better, we all are. We're all blessed with that opportunity, but what's already incredible right now cannot be overlooked, which is you, where you are right here, right now, okay? So don't overlook that. On a journey to being better, to seeing progress, already love who you are, respect yourself enough to know that you can always be better, but you're absolutely fantastic right now. Okay, so go into the week knowing you're gonna show up as your best self in all situations. You're already incredible and if you continue to show up in the best way that you can, you'll just continue to be better and better versions of yourself, okay? I love you guys and thank you for showing up here today. I can't wait to hear what you're gonna do this week to show up as your best self. Let me know in the comments below and before you head out, make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel so we can keep growing together. Turn on the bell notification and I will let you know every day when your workout is up and ready for you. I love you guys, have an awesome day.